Countless amounts of various kinds of cosmic debris constantly traveled through the vast area of the solar system. Some of them intersect the orbit of our planet, and the vast majority are so small that they disintegrate upon entering the atmosphere. However, once in a while we hear about asteroids on a collision course with Earth that could pose a real threat to us. The DART probe was supposed to help us fight them. Did it fulfill its role? We'll discuss that in today's episode. The DART mission, which stands for Double Asteroid Redirection Test, is carried out by NASA and it's designed to be a test, a prototype of technology that could help us prevent Earth from being hit by a potentially dangerous asteroid in the future. The DART probe is the first demonstration of the kinetic impactor technique, which was meant to change the motion of an asteroid in space. In other words, the probe was supposed to hit the asteroid hard enough to change its orbit slightly. The most crucial point in defending our planet from a collision is finding asteroids on a collision course before they become a real threat. It is best to find such an asteroid many years in advance. If we were to allow a situation where we only start trying to save ourselves, develop and test possible defense methods when a huge rock from space is flying straight at us, it might already be too late or will definitely be too late. The technology used with DART is currently the pinnacle of our capabilities. The accelerated device simply hit the asteroid to change its trajectory. It sounds simple, but in outer space nothing is as simple as it might seem. Accurately hitting such a small object as an asteroid is quite a challenge, and we must remember that it is millions of kilometers away from Earth. The target of DART was an asteroid, or rather asteroids, as there are two objects forming a tight table system. These two objects are the Deimos and Dimorphos. The larger of them, the main component of the system, making up for the most of the mass of the system is Didymos, which has a diameter of about 780 meters. The smaller Dimorphos serves as its moon. It orbits Didymos in exactly the same time it takes to make one full rotation around its axis. The diameter of this small cosmic moon is about 160 meters. By implementing the DART project, scientists wanted to check on a live object whether the application of such a solution could be an effective enough way to change the course of an object that could be on a collision course with Earth in the future. As Dr. James Nick Bernardini, NASA's planetary defense officer stated, so far we have not observed any asteroid that could threaten Earth, but we know that there are many objects nearby that have not yet been discovered. Small asteroids are particularly problematic. This is simply because they are much more difficult to detect than those of much larger sizes, and our solar system is full of such objects, which are remnants of the early stages of planet formation. At the moment, we do know about tens of thousands of small asteroids orbiting near our planet, but this is only a small part of them. Fortunately, the largest ones, which could cause a global cataclysm and mass extinctions with a single impact, are catalogued and astronomers closely monitor them. Precisely on September 27th at 1.14 am local time, telescopes located all over the world and in space observed our double asteroid system, specifically Dimorph. All this to witness the first ever test of an anti-asteroid system. Will the DART probe be able to change the orbit of the several hundred meter piece of cosmic rock? It is important to note that fortunately even if the probe had no effect, Dimorphos and Didymos do not pose any threat to our planet. They were simply chosen as a test object. Moreover, the impact on Dimorphos did not change the course of the entire binary system, so we do not have to worry about anything. What were the effects of the probe's impact on the asteroid? New findings were published in several articles in the scientific journal Nature. We have known for some time that the attempt was successful, but now thanks to various observational devices we can learn, among other things, about the final moments before the impact and how it affected the asteroid. 
After analyzing the data collected during the impact, researchers anonymously concluded that the technology used in the DART mission could indeed prove effective in dealing with a dangerous asteroid on a collision course with our planet. The 600 kg probe accelerated to a speed of 22,500 km per hour, struck the Morphos causing a noticeable disturbance in its orbit. After the impact, the time required for one full orbit around the Deimos shortened by exactly 32 minutes, from 11 hours and 55 minutes to 11 hours and 23 minutes. This is much more than expected. Furthermore, as a result of the impact, a trail of debris extending 1,500 km behind the asteroid was ejected into space, visible for almost an entire month. Scientists estimated that about a thousand tons of material were ejected, accounting for up to half a percent of the Morpho's entire mass, which could have had as much or even more significant an impact on the orbit change as the impact itself. The asteroid speed decreased by almost 3 mm per second. According to researchers, the effectiveness of the impact was primarily due to the probe hitting almost the center of the Morpho's. Along with the publication of the new findings, NASA even released a video assembled from data collected by the Hubble Space Telescope showing the effects of the impact. As scientists claim, the first test of the defense system against dangerous objects approaching from space was a resounding success, exceeding expectations. Asteroid researcher Dr. Frank Marquis from the SETI Institute in California even said that thanks to the DART probe, it would be possible to quickly design a mission to change an asteroid orbit if there were a risk of being on a collision course with Earth and posing a potential threat. If everything goes according to plan and schedule, by 2026 European Space Agency's HERA probe should reach the Didymos Dimorphos system, and we will learn even more about the long-term effects of the DART probe's impact. This news may seem inconspicuous, but in reality it is very important and I am astonished by it. For the first time, we have a working method of changing the course of asteroids that could threaten us in the future, and this is very, very, very important. Even the massive ones, because if we hit them early enough and far away, changing their course even minimally, they will ultimately miss Earth. That is why astronomical observations and the development of such impactor technologies are what can ensure our safety in the coming decades. If you are interested in such news, you can find more on our website astrofaza.pl and we'll see you on our mothership and in the next episodes. Take care, see you soon and goodbye.